Great. Well, so the, this is the lightning talk that I missed, unfortunately, at uh, 200. So I'm, I'm glad that you guys are, are still around. Here we are. Uh, so, so hackers and the mob. Uh, so what's the mob? Uh, so uh, just to be clear by definitions, this is an uh, unruly mob, not the mob, which organizationally is you know, structured very differently. Uh, <laughs> An unruly mob uh, is a mob of loosely organized, probably unaffiliated people. They have no leader. They define their own goals. Uh, they act together to do something big, only sometimes something bad. Uh, here's how you run a mob at Hack Night. Uh, this is simple. I've, I've done this a bunch of times. Uh, first of all, you pick a tool. I uh, usually have something uh, open source. It can be R, it can be Python, it can be QGIS, it can be databasing, it can sometimes be Excel. You pick a topic, which is something you want to try it on. You, you want to be curious. You want to uh, start an investigation. Uh, but then special magic is you work together. You have one screen, one keyboard, one mouse, and you have one joint effort of sifting and winnowing. You know, no, nobody gets left behind. You know, nobody's off on their laptop. Uh, nobody falls back. You all work together, uh, and everybody participates. The, the, the one keyboard goes around. So uh, in the last uh, year and a half, uh, there have been dozens of hack nighters, uh, a lot of beginners uh, that have uh, joined the sessions to learn open source tools, even, even Excel, because it's a common denominator. Uh, we have a Google Drive where you can see every single project, uh, whether we've been working on crime, affordable housing, city, uh, city permits, uh, so forth. Uh, even uh, that great tutorial on predicting who uh, sinks in the Titanic. Uh, it's not just women and children. Some, some rich uh, deck classes might have uh, gotten involved. Uh, but usually it's two hours. We usually get kicked out, uh, and it's uh, fussing with syntax, messy data, new and unfamiliar things, and we usually leave energized. Here's the magic, as far as I can tell. The first thing is you don't prepare anything, because ultimately, you know, when you come uh, prepared, you, know, you are filling in you know, these beautiful gaps. Uh, you want to use everybody's natural curiosity, and that ultimately is the engine for what you do. Uh, you get practice uh, not just answering other people's questions, but developing your own questions and figuring it out for yourself. And you go home, you feel comfortable, you have something else. Here's why mobbing matters. Oh. I'll, I'll let Kathy be the judge of that one. Uh, so, so he, here's why mobbing matters. Cooperative learning matters, uh, you know, uh, as, as it always has, you know, because we can go out and we can be learning independently, uh, but there's nothing that can spark that like a personal connection. A blank canvas matters, especially because the value of this community and our greatest social and economic potential ultimately is in agency and creativity uh, and uh, you know, the passion that comes with creation. And ultimately, community matters because we're in a time when social media has the potential to substitute rather than enhance uh, social interaction. So uh, just on this occasion, as on many occasions, I wanted to give thanks. Uh, I facilitate the group. I'm not the leader. Uh, but I wanted to thank everybody in the community you know, who continues to be in this room. Uh, so see you Tuesday. Thanks. Thank you.